my hair is kind of doing its own little thing like always so we are just going to kind of ignore that for the time being or just throughout this whole video and get on with this but I am actually really excited about this video I'm excited about any video in general but this video I'm actually really really excited about so yeah um Let's just get it started so I don't keep rambling on because I have a feeling this video is going to be very long in general anyways. Alright guys, hello, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me and it's your first time, welcome. My name is Ashley, if you didn't realize that already by my slide um today i kind of wanted to talk to you about i wanted to kind of do like a vlog type of video with this but um that kind of did not work out with this kind of video and i'm kind of glad it didn't in a way because i kind of wanted to talk more about this experience with you guys instead of um just showing you kind of um vlogs and, ex and my kind of experience because if you guys are really interested in um, this I would like for you guys to check it out for yourselves rather than me um, vlogging or showing you guys the experience and um, it being wasted on that so um, let's get into this if you guys don't know what uh, YLF is um, that is obviously what this video is about um, it stands for Youth Leadership Forum and I was actually a delegate which is aka student in quotations if you want to say say it that way um, for, you, for some of you guys uh, to understand um, I was a delicate like I just said <laughs> two years ago um, and not gonna lie just like everybody else um, I was quite nervous and didn't really know what I was gonna get myself into but I did meet a lot of people and I knew some people um, beforehand that were gonna be going which uh, did relieve a lot of the um, pressure on me and I did like it a lot like I said I met a lot of new people I was in a pageant um, like a week before so I was pretty exhausted so I did not stay for the whole time. I did leave like a day before and I was honestly really sad because I was going to be um, an MC for the talent show that year and um, unfortunately I was not able to do that because of my health, health and um, was not able to get enough sleep in order for me to properly function. So I was not able to um, stay that last day. So I was pretty upset with that. So there was that. But it was pretty fun. It was exciting. So I was pretty happy about that. Um, overall, I loved it. Um, I took a year off um, from everything, of course. I did not go back in the pageant at all. Which this is not, you know, about that. This is about um, wildlife, um, you know, uh, youth leadership uh, forum. I did not uh, do anything last year with that. I took a year off for everything just uh, to give my body a rest to see if, um, uh, to see if I could catch up medically, to see if um, I kind of wanted to go back and everything like that. And um, I did this year in 2018. I did apply. Um, I got in. I just need to do uh, one uh, recommendation letter since I was a delegate two years ago and I got in um, because I did a lot of uh, volunteer work which is the blue cards. Um, if you do a lot, the more volunteer work you do, the more chances you, you have of actually getting in as a staff member because mind you, this is all volunteer work. You don't get paid to do any of this. You just um, give up your time to go and um, help out, which I think is absolutely amazing. And I'm so glad that I did. Um, this year as a staff member, this is Friday as I'm recording this, so I just got back last night. I was going to record this as soon as I got back because I was like, yes, I wanted to tell you about this experience, but I was completely exhausted and as of now I need to you know obviously I'm in my work shoot I'm gonna be going to work soon so I'm recording this you know as I'm getting ready for work so I need to be getting you know ready to go soon um so I'm squeezing this in a little bit um sidetrack for a moment but anyways 
um, so that's why I'm recording this now, sorry for the lighting, I didn't have time to kind of like get a little bit more lighting in, but that's besides the point of this video, I just wanted to like explain to you guys a little bit about what it's about, but anyways, it's a lot different as a volunteer um, staff member than it was when I was a delegate, obviously, because you have a lot more responsibilities that you are entitled to, um, but I had a blast, and I loved it even more than when I was a delegate. Um, obviously, like I said, I didn't have the pageant either this year. Um, I think um, that really did help a lot with my sleep and stuff. I still was very, very tired because we had a structured, structured schedule that we had to do, but they worked with me, of course, um, with all my medical needs, and they recognized that, and I love them for that. Um, I cannot thank them enough for working with me and everything that I needed um, to rest and be able to function. And I love meeting new people and all the new delegates this year. They were all amazing. We had a lot of fun, a lot of giggles. Um, but in all seriousness, um, we all did learn a lot. I've learned some things I didn't even know two years ago and obviously some of the stuff that I did learn two years ago so sometimes you do learn um, some new things that you haven't learned in the last form which I think is amazing too as well so there's that um, I think I might be trying to apply again next year I'm gonna try my hardest um, I am still working I was working last year and I was able to volunteer enough hours to be Come the volunteer staff member, even if I'm downgraded to a peer member, not a peer uh, mentor, which um, still technically is like a staff member, but you just don't get as many, I guess, volunteer hours in, so you're not like, because I was like a co counselor, so I had a little bit more responsibility than I was as a peer mentor. You just wasn't technically as an actual like staff staff, if that kind of makes sense. It's kind of a little bit confusing the way like they word everything. But you're technically on the staff, you're just not there for the actual, like, um, when you're an actual staff member, you're there, the day. you're there a day before for, like, the staff meeting, whereas you're a peer mentor, you're there with the delegates the day after when the delegates actually come in. So, if that kind of helps you out, like, I was there on the 21st when the delegates came in, that's when the peer mentors came in the day of the 22nd. So, hopefully, that gives you kind of an insight. The more volunteer work you do, that the more you get um, kind of like upgraded, if you want to say, or advanced more to a staff member. So I'm going to try to apply again and do it again for next year. And I mean, they all enjoyed it. They were all happy. Um, and that's all that I can ask for. And I mean, for the most part, everybody, you know, I mean, I hate to say everybody like enjoyed me, but I mean, they did. I mean, they looked up to me, and that, that's all I could ask for in the six days that I was there. I mean, I was there earlier, like I said, as a staff member, but the five days that the delegates were there, they really looked up to me, and I didn't know how much they would look up to me, um, to be honest, because I'm like, you know, hey, you know, I'm just another person. I mean, why would they look up to me versus, you know, anybody else, you know, that's going to be there at the forum, um, but... They did, and it was, you know, a heartwarming experience, and I cannot wait um, to hopefully go back in 2019. So I'm excited. Um, hopefully, I get to talk to other people about coming next year, and hopefully, we have a bigger group. Um, I did love the smaller group that we had this year, but hopefully, we get some more people in a bigger group, and we make it a bang for 2019. Um, but yeah, that was kind of my experience and the differences between being a delegate and being a staff member as a co-counselor. Um, you just have a lot more responsibilities. As I said, you gotta like walk the delegates up to the room if you need to and you know to the restroom when you when they need to go. Um, obviously females with females and males to males obviously. Um, things like that or whatever simple things like that you need to help them with. But regardless, it was um, so wonderful to make those kind of connections and to be friends with a lot of those people on Facebook as well. It was um, such a great experience, even though it was short and only um, almost about a week, not even a full week. I enjoyed my time there, and 
Yeah, and one thing I will tell you, we stayed actually at a hotel. We are the only firm in Ohio, in Columbus, Ohio, that actually stays in a hotel. The other ones stay in a college, uh, college, and somewhere else. I can't remember where they said, but they stay in two, like, two different places. We're the only one that stays in a hotel, which I think is pretty sweet that the Ohio one is the only one that stays in a hotel. And the handicapped stall, at least the one that's on the ground floor, that I meant, I did take a snapchat of it. Maybe I will insert it into this video. I will try to save an insert it so you guys can see because I think it's really cool. It is not only like really wide, it also has a freaking sink. A sink and a really, really, really lowered um, like soap dispenser. Sometimes the soap dispenser is not low enough for us to reach it. Even when I'm in my manual wheelchair because um, the power wheelchair is low, but when you're in the manual wheelchair, it's even lower than a power wheelchair, if that makes sense. Um, I know that's confusing to some people, but um, it makes sense to me, at least if you're in um, a wheelchair, it will make sense to you, especially if you've um, tested both of them out. A, man a manual wheelchair is a lot lower than a power one, regardless if you have a elevation feature like me or not. It is going to be lower. So there's that um, little tidbit. But I've never seen a stall with an actual sink inside the stall. Like it wasn't outside obviously. There's going to be some outside. But there was one inside. So I thought that was pretty cool. If other places can make it like that. That would be great. I know it's always money consuming. And everything's about money. I get it. I get it people. But I've never seen that. And I think that would be a great thing for accessibility in the future. That would be great. If other companies can think about that, hit me up. I'm your girl. Test that out. Or, you know, just talk to me about that. I don't know how much help I can be other than, like, you know, testing to make sure everything is, you know, leveled out. But, hey, always a girl to test that out if you need so. Um, I think that's about it. I kind of want to just talk, talk about my experience. I was going to, you know, show you my hotel, and, you know, whatever, kind of do this as a vlog experience. But then the more and more I got into it, I was like, no, I really want to just enjoy this experience, you know, being here while I can't away from, you know, hate to say it, but reality, I think everybody needs a break from the reality to enjoy, you know, some peace and quiet and something different, and now it's my, you know, vacation without, you know, a vacation. Anyways. That was my little um, tidbit and my um, experience with YLF. Um, it's an amazing program, and if you were a junior and senior in high school, and even some sophomores that they do accept, go to OhioYLF.com and go and apply. The applications are probably not out right now because it's way too early, but somewhere around January, February area, they will have the application on the website so I would just check out the website period and everything will be right on there I can link that down below as well they do have a Facebook and a Instagram page as well then I can link down in my description box as well as all of my social medias and all of my pictures from whenever I get the pictures <laughs> and I find them I will be posting my pictures on my social media which will most likely be my um, Instagram will be most common, obviously, for my pictures, and that will be linked below as well in the description box. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I always love going back to YLF. Obviously, I'm not going to be posting a video every time I go. Like, if I go next year in 2019, I'm not going to be posting my video on the experience again because it's going to be just about the same. But I wanted to kind of, um, explain the difference from delegate and being a co-counselor and it's so humbling being a co-counselor than a delegate um not that i didn't like being a delegate i love being a delegate as well it taught me a lot but being a co-counselor has also taught me so 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 much more to uh, be an advocate being um a leader a role model and somebody that uh people look up to not that people didn't look up to me before but um I think people looked up to me a lot more that week, and it was just humbling and exciting, and um, it made me feel really good inside. It did. made me feel really, really good inside. So, yeah, there's that. I just needed to talk a little bit with the guys today. 
And um, remember, even if you're not in the Ohio area, there should be a YLF youth leadership uh, program in your area. Um, like I said, I would just kind of check, um, maybe check uh, youth leadership form, like Google it and see if there's one in your area. There should be. Um, and if there's not, speak out and, you know, get one in your area, whatever. It's an amazing program that I think everybody should get involved and everybody should have in their area. Um, so yeah, that's kind of really all I have to say and pinpoint in this video. I hope you guys like this week's video. I will see you in the next one. I hope you're having an amazing day or night wherever you are. And I'll catch you in the next video. <laughs> Bye. I love you.